refuse to be sick right now. I refuse to admit Mom was right. Amy! Hmm? Oh, hey David. Why are you wearing gym clothes? I just got done with early morning football practice. I didn't know you were on a sports team. Yeah. Wait, I think I might have heard you guys jogging around the track this morning. Yep, we were doing sprints. Someone was shouting at you and blowing a whistle. I felt bad for you guys. That was Coach Chamblin. He's been working as hard in preparation for the homecoming game in a couple weeks. We're playing the Bridgeport Bandits, our rivals. Wow, are they any good? Yeah. They were the state champions last year, but a lot of their top players graduated, so I feel like we have a shot at winning. Are you sick? It's just allergies. Well, this is my class. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you in biology. Good luck with football. I hope you get a home run. Uh... <laughs> I'll try. Some of you will recall I talked about one-dimensional motion in the previous unit when we were reviewing derivatives. I think those of you who are taking physics right now will find the subject to be <laughs> familiar. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying... Oliver. Like before, he climbs the fence and heads out into the forest behind the school. This time with the duffel bag full of paints he stole from the art room. What does he do out there anyways? Next time I see him, I'll have to ask. Aren't you going to eat anything, Amy? It's Pizza Thursday! No, I'm not hungry for some reason. Good for you, Amy. Pizza makes you fat. Did you guys hear Haley Becker and Zola Akadikbo got matching tattoos? Really? What'd they get? <laughs> Two kittens riding a tandem bike. Oh, gag. I think it's cute. Maybe for, like, six-year-old girls or something. Um, I don't think six-year-old girls get tattoos. Or a six-year-old boy, for that matter. David, hmm? if we got matching tattoos, what would you want? Uh... What about, like, a skull with snakes coming out of the eye sockets? Yeah. Um... But hey, is Amy asleep? Oh, man. We should draw a mustache on her face. Amy, wake up before Cassie finds a marker. Amy? I don't get it, Cassie. You wore less than I did last night and you didn't get sick. Unfortunately, not everyone can be like me, sweetie. Now, you get some rest. David and Zeph are taking care of everything with the nurse. Okay. Nighty night. there. Amy. Don't forget. Amy. Pammy! What happened? Are you alright? Don't forget. Don't forget what, Pammy? Don't forget that you have a bright soul. What? That you're loved. Mom? 
Amy, you're awake. I was having the weirdest dream. It was probably a fever dream. You're burning up. Come on, let's get you home. I'll brew you some chai tea with ginger root, and I'll make some soup. The more fluids you drink, the faster you'll get better. Mom, I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. That wasn't... That wasn't who I want to be. I know you were just trying to help, because you love me. Amy, I... I love you so much, it hurts sometimes. It hurts to watch you hurt. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. Things are hard right now, but I know you'll be all right. You are a strong, intelligent young woman, and I love you. And no matter what happens, I'm going to keep loving you. Because you're my daughter. Mom. Now then, let's get you home. Stop, slow down. What happened to reality? It's gone upside down. I can't escape the gravity, so I realign. Say that it's all just fine. The truth is, distance can't erase the ache inside. Cast adrift in seas, I do not know. Waves of fear surround me as I